guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. So today I'm gonna to be doing some journaling prompts. I have been super into journaling lately. It has really helped my mental health and just my overall health in 2021 since I started in August. And I've been journaling almost every day, at least a few times a week. And it has been so helpful for me. So I wanted to share three journaling prompts that have helped me to feel more inspired, uplifted, and positive. And I didn't make these up. Um, these are journaling prompts that I actually got off TikTok and I am on TikTok now. I will probably start posting in the next couple weeks, but um, I love going through TikTok and finding new videos and new inspiration. So I wanted to share a few of them with you guys here on my channel. So I'm gonna be doing three different journal prompts. I'll be doing the 10, 10, 10 method a daily reflection and then also a law of attraction journaling prompt that I really really like. So I'm still in my Desmond and Dempsey journal and I'm going to be using two different pens. I like to use different colored pens in my journal because I don't decorate or anything so I like to kind of have a color contrast in some of my journaling spreads which you guys will see and I'll kind of explain later. So the first prompt is the 10 10 10 method and I love this journaling prompt. So basically what you're gonna do is make three headers, desires, gratitude, and I love to do. And then below each of the headers, you'll number one through 10. So that's where your 10, 10, 10 comes in. You're gonna make three different lists of 10 items each, one for future desires, things that you want in life, another one for gratitude, things that you already have and are thankful for. And then the third list is things that you love to do or that bring you happiness. I like to use this journaling prompt when I feel like I'm stuck in a rut or if I need a boost of motivation and positivity. It really focuses on goals, positivity, and things that bring you happiness in life. So I like to incorporate this on a weekly or monthly basis. You can use this once a year if you want just for yearly goals to check in or you can set this up and make it a part of your journaling routine. So for example, mine are more long-term. I have things like buy a new car, buy a home, save money. Those are kind of like one to five year desires for me or just kind of general things that I wanna bring into my life. But you can also create specific lists, things that you wanna do this week for one specific month or you can also just put down general items like goals that you might have or non-tangible things like an emotional state you wanna achieve, a state of being or for example, just improving your overall physical, emotional, and mental health. So once you've finished with your desires, you can move on to gratitude. And I love writing gratitude in my journal. I feel like it's such a good exercise for remembering and acknowledging how far you've already come. I like to kind of look back on all of my gratitude lists throughout my journal just so I can remind myself of things that I've achieved. For example, some of my past desires are now a part of my gratitude section. So it's kind of nice to see that evolution throughout your journal. And the third list are things that you love to do. So for me, I like to spend time with my family, with my pets, cooking, being creative, and enjoying nature. Those are just some of like my daily activities that bring me a lot of joy. So I like to just write down basic things that I like to do that bring me some sort of happiness or joy. And it's nice to kind of have those as a mental marker. That way when you're performing those tasks or doing those activities, you can kind of remember back to the journaling and positivity and just make the most out of the experience. So next we will move on to our daily reflection. This is a great prompt for getting into daily journaling and you can fill out the answers to these questions at the end of each day. So number out the page one through five and leave some room to write in your answers. This is where my two pen thing kind of comes in. I like to write all of the questions in just a regular black and then I use an accent color to write in the answers to the questions. So the first question is what went well today? This is where you're gonna reflect on your day and pick out all of the positives. Question two is how can I improve for tomorrow? So this is where you wanna self reflect and come up with some sort of solution. So for me, one of the things that was really positive about the day is that I got so much done. I felt really, really productive, but I felt like I could have spent my time a little bit better in certain areas. 
So for example, I might write down cut down screen time or find a way to streamline something that I was working on that day. And then number three is setting up a plan. So you're going to write down, I will make tomorrow better by, and then come up with some sort of action. So in this section I wrote, wake up an hour earlier and schedule breaks to avoid burnout. Number four is an affirmation statement. So you're gonna write I am and complete the sentence with a positive affirmation. And finally, you're going to write down question five, which is how can I make myself proud? I like to spend the most time on this question and think of different ways that I can both improve and set better expectations for myself. So for example, I wrote, I can make myself proud by using my time to my advantage and for focusing on positivity and progress. I feel like focusing on those things would make me more proud of how I spent my time that day and get me closer to my goals. The final journal prompt is my favorite because you can incorporate this into your planning as well. So this is the law of attraction manifestation prompt. So you're going to start by making a horizontal and vertical intersecting line to create four different quadrants. In the first quadrant, you're going to label it want. The second quadrant will be I feel. The third will be I will feel. And the fourth is going to be your action. So in the first quadrant, you're going to write down whatever it is you want and you want to be as specific as you can. After you write down your want, you can move on to feel. So this is where you will write down how you feel about this topic or this item or this thing right now. And you can be really honest with yourself. So make sure you don't edit out any feelings or emotions towards that thing. You want to be as honest as you can with this. After that, you're going to visualize yourself with that thing or with that promotion or that new job or that new car and write down how it will make you feel once you already have it. So envision it and write down how it will make you feel once you acquire it. And finally, you're going to make an action plan. And I love this step because you can incorporate this into your planner, which is why I love doing this exercise. So you can write down what next steps you can take to get closer to that. So maybe it's as simple as just sending out your resume. Maybe it requires a lot of thought and planning. So that's where you can bring your planner into the equation and set up a step-by-step -step plan to achieve whatever it is you want. I love this idea for manifesting and it's so important to actually visualize yourself achieving your goals. Thoughts become things, right? So take the time to really think about your desires and create a plan to make it happen. These are just a few journaling prompts that I have found helpful in my journaling. So let me know if you guys try any of these, how you like them, and leave any other ideas for journaling prompts below. But before I go, I just wanna take a second to recommend a class that you guys might really enjoy on Skillshare. The class is called Designing the Life You Want, Four Exercises for Clarity and Motivation, and it's taught by Michelle B, and it's a staff pick for good reason. It's a really, really great class if you're looking to kind of pinpoint what you want in life and how to get there. So it'll teach you how to reflect on your life currently, figure out what you want, what you don't want, and how to show up as the best version of yourself every single day. So there are video lessons and class projects for you to work through, and it's a really great option if you're looking for some extra motivation and inspiration. There are so many topics, anything from graphic design, web development, freelance and entrepreneurship, lifestyle, and so much more, so you can find anything that you're looking for. So I like to use it to sharpen skills for my career, to learn new things, and to deep dive into certain topics that I'm really interested in. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, so there are no ads and they're always launching new classes. And if you use the link down below, you can get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So definitely take advantage of the free trial if it's something you're interested in. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.